Hey guys, so another tool that I want to share with you is Google's Applied Digital Skills. This is a free platform. If I were in the classroom, this would be an absolute no-brainer for me. If you, again, regardless if you're a Google or Microsoft school, you can use this awesome resource. Um, it's a free platform. If you were to teach, let's say, like some kind of tech club, it would literally fill up a whole semester of curriculum, but you can pull and choose lessons out of here. It spans from, I would say, like third grade to 12th grade. Um, actually, it goes to adult learners, but you could start it off in like third grade. And what it does is it allows your students to learn how to use the Google products. So Google Docs, Google Slides, Google Sheets, Google Sites, etc. by doing and completing these projects. It works across all curriculum. And when I get in here and show you, you're going to see that the projects or the lessons are so wide open. No matter what you teach, you could see where you could fit it in. So I'm going to share my screen. And if you need help with any of this, definitely let me know. Um, but it's so easy to use. It integrates directly with Google Classroom. So if you are using Google Classroom, again, this is a no brainer for you to use. So you have your Google at your account. So I've created my account here. And I'm just going to come in here and click for teachers so I can see, um, so I can show you what is available for you. So um, how it works is that you're going to choose the lessons you want your kids to complete. Students complete them at their own pace. You're able to track where they are in the lesson. I'll show you the kind of the teacher dashboard. And then you also are encouraged to put your kids in groups to complete these projects to foster that collaboration. If you don't want to put them in groups, they can complete them by themselves, but it is encouraged that you put them in groups. So just something to think about as you're going through looking at the lessons, okay? Um, I'm going to go in and show you everything that's in here so you can see. So I'm in the teacher dashboard. I'm in the student side. I'm the teacher side right now. I can filter by elementary, middle or high or adult learners and just look at the lessons that pertain to those. There's also collections available that you can see here as well. Um, or I can search by digital tools. So if I know that I want my kids to work on Google Sheets, for example, I can click that and it will open up the lessons that pertain to Google Sheets. Or I can come down here to topic and let's say I'm a science teacher, I'm gonna click that and it's gonna pull, pull the lessons that they think would be more applicable to the science content, okay? So there's create a presentation all about a topic. I mean, there's tons of them in here, designing an infographic in Google Drawings, um, creating quizzes and forms, exploring a topic, um, I mean, you can see there's tons of stuff in here, right? So let's just click on this first one so I can show you. And so if I scroll down, it's gonna show me that this activity would take between 45 and 90 minutes to complete. It's gonna focus on the Google search bar and Google Slides. And it tells me the skills that the students will be learning. It also gives me an overview of all of the video lessons that are in that are a part of this lesson, okay? And again, I want you to keep in mind, you assign this to the students and then the students work at their own pace. If I come to teaching materials, y'all, this is where it's super just no brainer. There's a lesson plan in here that you can alter to make to meet your needs. There's a rubric in here that you can alter and edit to meet your needs. You can also assign your students certificates of completion once they finish it. And then you can also download the videos too. But let me show you the lesson plan so you can see how robust this is, okay? So when you open that lesson plan, it is gonna open in a Google Doc. Let me make this a little bit bigger for you. All right, so it opens in a Google Doc and it gives you an overview. It gives you the lesson objectives. It gives you the digital skills. It's still loading, sorry. Terms and concepts and materials, how long it's gonna take. It gives you the outline and how long you should be spending on each piece that's in here. So you guys see how detailed this is. It tells you what the prep is, what the procedure is, how to check for the outcomes, different assessments, the resources. It even gives you screenshots of examples of what you can expect your students to turn in. So y'all, when I say this is a no brainer, I would totally use this. And it, again, this is just an example of what you might see something that your students turn in. All right. And it tells you what they're doing. So let me come here. Um, students are digitally sharing their files with a classmate and leaving comments. So they're learning how to collaborate with each other and talk to each other. They're adding animations to slides. Um, let me come up here and see. They're adding text boxes and learning how to do that, how to add images, how to arrange the elements on the slide. 
So you can see how robust this is. And if you can see on the top of all of the pages, it says make a copy or save a copy to your drive. If you click that, it's going to automatically shoot that copy over to your Google Drive. And then there you can edit it and do what you need to do. Maybe put your, you know, your high school name or your name or whatever you want to do. OK, so I'm going to come back to the um, actual lesson and show you the sample rubric that's in here for this particular lesson. Again, make a copy of it, add it to your drive. Any of this can be altered, edited, and changed to meet your needs of what you would need your students to get out of this if you're going to share the rubric with them. All right, so if I want to add this lesson to my class, all I have to do is say add to class. It's going to pull up all of my Google Classrooms slowly but surely, and then I can click it and it will go straight to that Google Classroom that I have set up, okay, with the expectations and the lesson and everything. So um, I'm going to go ahead and click start so you can kind of see what the lesson looks like. So introduction to create a presentation all about a topic. So you see how general this is. This is where me as the teacher has to come in and give them the content. So there's no content associated with these lessons. That's where you come in and work your magic. So maybe we're studying I don't know, cells, I can say, OK, you're going to create a presentation all about cells. And so the students know that the instructions are over here on the right hand side. So they're going to sign into their Google account, create a new presentation in Google Slides and give their presentation a title. And that is going to walk them. This video is going to walk them through those three steps for your students that may not necessarily want to watch the video. There's a transcript down at the bottom that they can just read through or maybe they're in a situation where they can't listen to the video at that time. The transcript is right there. Once that video is over, they click next and go to the next screen. It's going to give the instructions over here again. And so they're going through this and they will have two tabs open, this tab and another tab where they're actually doing the work and going through the assignment with whatever content it is that you're giving them. OK, um, so that is absolutely awesome. Now, let me show you what this looks like from the teacher dashboard so you see what you can expect. So let's look at do I have stuff in here? Let me find one that has stuff in it. Um, let's actually look at this one. So it's going to pull up here. All right, so this is the dashboard for this lesson. The other thing that's cool too is that it gives you a class code. So just like students join Google Classrooms with class codes, they can join applied digital skills lessons with class codes too. So that's another thing to keep in mind. So this is a dashboard. It gives me an overview and it gives me a progress summary. So if I click that, it's going to show me all of the students. So this was a training I did for teachers a while ago, all of the students. So there were 39 students in this class. All right. And it shows me where they are in this lesson. So, um, for example, Anne completed 79% of this lesson and it shows me where she is. So she got through step one, she got through step two, she was in the middle of step three when we when we stopped and moved on to something else. Now you can see here, for example, M Classroom kind of skipped around and didn't, well, they completed this one, but didn't complete um, these here. So I can see, you know, kind of who did what, where they were. Lisa skipped this one and just advanced to the second one. So it doesn't have the feature where they have to complete this lesson before they move on to step two, before they click that next button. Um, so just keep that in mind if that's something that bothers you. But I can click on the little progress kind of chart there and it gives me a little bit more information so I can see the questions, her answers to the questions that she answered. I can see the feedback because it gave, it had questions in the lesson and I can see her answers right here. OK. Um, so that is your student progress chart, which I think is super um, important for teachers to have access to. I'm going to come back to, I'm clicking too fast, my dashboard. And then if I click people here, you'll see it'll open up kind of a different view for me as well. OK, I can see usernames and it just walks me through just more spe specific information. OK. So that is Applied Digital Skills in a nutshell. Again, when you see those lessons, you can just push those lessons straight out to your uh, kids through Google Classroom, or you can have them join with that code. I can switch here. I'm going to switch to a student profile 
just so you can see what theirs looks like. So I can change role from student to teacher just like that. And this is what your student sees, okay? So as you assign them classes or lessons, or I'm sorry, these are the lessons back up. These are the classes that I have set up. So you can see how easy it is that your students see their dashboard very similar to a Google Classroom. If I am a teacher and I have given my students the class code to join, they're just gonna click join class code, they'll type it in here and it will drop them into that class, okay? Um, and then you can see, for example, right here, April 18th virtual summit, I can see that this teacher for this class has put, which is me, but I've pushed out two lessons for the teachers, for the students to complete getting tongue tied y'all, sorry. Um, so I can see, you know, whatever. So you can release however many um, lessons you wanna release. Maybe you release one a week. Maybe you only ever release one. Maybe you release five. Maybe you release one a month. You have the power to decide how many of those lessons you're going to release. And as you release them, your students will see them pop up here, okay? I'm gonna go back to the teacher profile so I can show you how to create the class. I should have done that, sorry. So I'm gonna switch to teacher. There we go. So to create a class for my students, I'm just gonna click create class. I can name the class. If I wanna change the color of it, I can. And is it middle or high or adult learners? If it's elementary, I would still click that one and click create. So it's creating my class now. There we go. So to add lessons to this class, I'm just going to click add lessons. And then again, I can go in and search whatever it is that I'm looking for. Maybe I'm teaching digital citizenship and I want them to do something on cyberbullying. There it is. I'm going to add it to class. And I'm going to add it to my Facebook class. Add to class. There it is. So from here, I can either view that class or view the curriculum. I'm gonna view the class. And then you'll see that that lesson is now inside of that class. And I don't have any progress because I don't have any students in this class. So um, I hope that gives you a little bit of an overview of applied digital skills and shows you why I think you should use it. Um, there are some lessons in here too that you might wanna consider taking. For example, if you need to update your resume or there's a whole budgeting thing in here. Um, so it's great. And again, this is across all curriculum. If you're a math teacher, there's a lesson in here for um, comparing and contrasting students like having to purchase cell phones. So they have to go and do the research and get the specs and then get the pricing and do the percentages of why this one might be a better deal than this. So there's a whole thing and it teaches them how to use Google Sheets to do all of that and put formulas in to make it auto calculate. It's really cool. Um, I think before I told you when you click add to class that it's gonna shoot it to your Google Classroom, that's not right. When you click add to class, I just remembered that's gonna add it to your class that you set up here in Applied Digital Skills. Here is where it's gonna add it to your Google Classroom, okay? So I hope that helps. I hope that gives you another idea of something that you could possibly use with your students going into remote learning. I know this was a little bit of a longer video. Um, again, if you need to do a deeper dive dive into this or anything else that I'm sharing or will share with you, um, please feel free to reach out to me. This is what I do for my job and um, I don't mind at all. Um, so yeah, I keep saying, um, anyway, have a good day. Hope that helps and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.